this is a North American math contest. Go go go! Today we are going to continue talking about the latex on YouTube. So this time we are going to be focused on calculus one common terminology. The first thing we are going to talk about is limit. Lim fx is the code for normal limit, like the photo below, which is this. So the reason that you, I mean, you have to type this in order to make it like a code. Just like if you do lim, it is a code. While lim, it is not a code. I mean, I mean, it's not not a code. I mean, lim is that it creates a function. It's a function for the latex. This is a function. And this fx, it can be substituted as any equation. For example, if we want to find the limit of the equation, this thing, we simply write down the code as this which then produces this. What should we do? So, however, what should we do for a specified limit? Let's say a limit has a certain point. To do that, another code would be needed, which is something similar to that, the one below. Lim a symbol to a number or a symbol, mm, fx. And then let's go down, which means where a number or a symbol or a symbol can be substituted into any number or symbol. For example, let's say we want to put the equation this into LaTeX, we will simply apply the code as this m to 2, 140x squared plus 75x minus 68. <sighs> so basically, if you want to know what the code is, let me just open the, open the, what's that called? The, open the auto latex equation. I'm going to de-render this. De -render. It will look like this. How about we are approaching to infinite? In this case, we only need to sub substitute a number or a symbol in your positive infinity or negative infinity. For example, let's say by using the code this, uh, we can produce this large thing. Yeah. Now, how about a limit where it is approaching the form of x is larger than s, right? We use a formula like this. which then produces inf this. Come, then we, after we're talking about limit, let's come to derivative. We first follow the following rules for derivative, which first order is we just typing the code like this, f prime x, and second order is just typing f prime prime x, and third order is just typing f prime 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 x. Now I'm going to give you a guess. What is the case uh, order of derivative in latex? So, the answer is like this, f k x, or this. Now, how about the ddx form? First order is this, second order is this. Now, let's guess what the case order is. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to guess it. What is the case order?
structure, and we can see the answer is this one. Here we come to the, our, our our class. However, we come to the end of our class today, and I hope you have learned a lot. See you next week. Bye bye.